All right, I have no idea who the one on the right is, but I'll see if I can help Ryan at all with uh, Pac-Man. All right, uh, trust me, I got a foolproof. I got a foolproof <laughs> argument on this one. I don't know. I thought I had a pretty good argument, and uh, that's bullshit. I don't, I know. I got. I got. I got every angle covered. I got, I got this. <laughs> you, you you defeat Joe, you, Ryan. You defeat him. Brings him to the dust. I, this is how confident I am. Powered by Riverside. This is gonna be insane. Who's the higher seed? Uh, our Harry Tipper is. Joe. Groovy man. Okay. We're gonna go heads. Tails, please be tails, please be tails. Please 50, be tails. 50. Heads. heads. Fucking it. Glorious. Joe, you want to talk to Yeah. The app has better odds. <laughs> yeah. Bigger sample size, more tails over here. All right. Uh, uh, Joe, we're, we're, gonna, gonna, uh, we're gonna go first. All right. So, uh, pretty straightforward. I don't think I'm going to use the, all my time. Right, right um, Harry Tipper is a uh, 1960s, early 1970s spy um, for the uh, uh, United States. He's very groovy. He's very much a man of his time. Um, he's got the handlebar mustache. He's got the, you know, hippie type of dialect. Radical, man. Yeah. Um, which I can't do very well. Um, <clears throat> so, um he carries uh, as his standard loadout a um, I don't know the exact gun it is, but it's a you know fairly uh, basic um, pistol. Um, it's not like a very small James Bond pistol; it's a little larger pistol, a little big ass holster. He can't like hide it in his boot or anything. Um, I'm sure the gun fans will know a lot more detail than I will. Um, he's got spy skills. Um, he'll infiltrate places. He knows his way around the gun. Um, he can. He can shoot his way in uh, to a facility and um, infiltrate a little bit before he's discovered. Um, he'll pick up uh, any weapons um, available around him and uh, be able to use them proficiently. Um, he won't really enter with other weapons besides the pistol. Um, he's um, in shape. He's you know a human uh, spy. Um, he can run. He can climb. He can jump. Um, he can. Uh, navigate his environment very well. Um, he has no qualms um, about killing people when he has to. Uh, it's part of the job. Um, I think uh, this big ass uh, Pac-Man is going to try and you know take a gigantic bite out of him, and he's just going to be an easy target. You know, a lot of body mass, and every shot that lands is a headshot. So, and Tipper wins. Okay. I have one more caveat that because he's very groovy, he's got rhythm, he can move. He's got that add that little agility that uh, the dance gives. Right. <laughs> Tango, you have the floor. All right. Um, I am, uh, using, uh, Pac-Man, the one displayed with arms and legs, not just the simple mouth creature. Mm -hmm. Um, and Pac-Man, uh, you might not think it, uh, has a variety of powers, uh, and, um, since, uh, we're not gonna do weird technicalities, uh, I'm just going to read, uh, verbatim what some of his powers are. Um, such as the ability to turn giant and be able to uh, go through maze walls and ghosts, which means I can kill things that are already dead. Uh, doesn't matter how in or out of time you are, you can get killed, you can get got, you can get eaten by the Pac-Man. Um, and uh, not only that, uh, I can summon a Galaxian, which is a fruit that I can eat and I can stun anything by shooting a giant capture beam out of my mouth. Um, I can bounce on the ground. I can do a Sonic-style uh, rev roll uh, and power up. 
Um, I can shoot pack dots out of my hand like a bullet to hit enemies, and I can even charge it up to shoot a huge blast of them um, from my hand as well. Uh, I can swim. Uh, I can do kicks and the flips in the air, which means I'm extremely agile. Uh, in some games, I'm even able to run a roughly the same speed as Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, not only that, I have a power to turn my body steel. Uh, and that steel is hard enough that I hardly can be damaged. And it's strong enough I can walk on fire and across lava even. Which means that uh, this is an even more durable kind of steel because it can't be melted by molten rock. Um, I can shrink myself down. So even if I am being shot by a gun, uh, it doesn't reduce any of my powers. But I would be much harder to hit with a gun if you're a normal human person. Um, I can also uh, shoot electric shocks out of my hand, uh, Darth Sidious style. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not really sure that uh, with his he, yeah he sure he can dim, shimmy and shake, but I don't know what the fuck that's gonna do good for you when I'm shooting laser beams out of my hands and mouth, and also shooting shotgun blasts of bullets from the size of Ant Man. And uh, with that, I rest my case. Uh, not only that, I can walk on lava. So, like, what the fuck is a bullet even going to do to that? I just want to say... <laughs> All right, we may start to be in their buttons. I, I mean, I just got to say, this is not your grandfather's Pac-Man. Holy shit, what the fuck kind of Pac-Man is this? What game is he from? I thought I was fighting the um, arcade Pac, you know, Waka Waka Pac-Man who's, you know, 90% mouth. Um, well, he's still 90% mouth. I need to know what game this is from because this is just, this is madness. Um, I don't know, I still feel like uh, Tipper's got um, an advantage. Uh, Pac-Man has apparently all these ridiculous superpowers I've never heard of. Um, he, um... <laughs> He's, he's still uh, just, you know, uh, an arcade character. Um, he's um, still, even if he's got arms and legs, he's still mostly head and mouth. Um, Pipper is a spy. He's going to sneak up on him. He's going to get the drop on him. And all it takes is one bullet in the back of the head, which is a very large target, and pac man done. Uh, Tango, do you have anything you want to add for Pac-Man? <laughs> um uh waka waka <laughs> I've been lying well. to I would like to open the round for questioning Pac-Man is just Pac-Man with eyelashes a bow and a freaking <laughs> lipstick put on All right. I will add one like mind thing before we go to questions, which is um, even if it sways the judges at all, they will. Thing on the environment this is taking place in, which we haven't talked about, decided um, Tipper may be able to um, use his spy knowledge and skills to have the environment work in his favor and dodge some of these supernatural abilities that Batman has. Okay. Um. I have just a couple questions, maybe only one. Joe, I've only played um, Future Girl. Sometimes later games. That's the one I'm imagining. Okay, cool. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I know during the campaign pain, you play as Cortez, mm -hmm. and he goes through time. Mm -hmm. Does Tipper have the ability to go through mm -hmm. time himself, or is Cortez the only one that can? No, Cortez is the only one who can go through time. Okay. I mean, the, the villain can, but that's irrelevant. Yeah. yeah, Tipper himself does not um, travel through time with, with Cortez. In in earlier versions of the game, um, I think, because I haven't really played the earlier versions, I think um, Cortez goes back in time and then he kind of has like a Gex thing going on where he becomes a character from that time period. So in the earlier games, I think he becomes Tipper when he's in that time period. Okay. Um, but that's, yeah. Tipper himself is not a time traveler. So it's Assassin's Creed. Find it. So, Tango, I've got one positive follow-up question for you. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, in every Pac-Man <sighs> game, once he gets tapped by a ghost, he's dead. Is as soon as is he like a one tap and he's done or how so how does work here? Not actually in like the open world 3D game. Um, it's it's like more of a Mario 64 where there's like a pie crust thing and the pack pellets give you health back. Mm -hmm. um, and so when he's in the steel mode, uh, he takes less actual damage onto his like health. I, I don't even have a follow up for you then. Somebody can go next. I think Jordan said he had a question. I've got a question for Joe. Yes. As we have established in the previous round, guns are useless in these death matches. They mean nothing. How how is Big Tipper going to be able to attack Pac Man if his gun is invalid? I mean, he's a spy. He's also uh, he's also trained in uh, martial arts and stuff. He can um, you know kind of chloroform people. He can do like a. Uh, like neck bar, neck chokehold type thing. Um, oh, 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 you established Pac-Man as a giant head, so how, he has no neck to uh, yeah. choke so, out. Like, there's, there's not a whole lot of evidence in the game, but I'm inferring a little bit that he can, um, you know, just kind of hand to hand karate chop, uh, kung fu type of attack, uh, Pac-Man. All right. My, my, my second question is: uh, We all know that the ghosts in Pac-Man were originally human souls that were then eaten by Pac-Man. So, could it be safe to infer that Big Tipper is one of those souls just eaten and so he's already dead? No, I, I don't think that's fair. I, I, I yield my question. I'm done. Like, he's, he's animate and he's moving around. Like, maybe if he gets killed, he becomes one of those ghosts, but he's not a ghost at the time this fight is occurring. No, that, that's debatable. No, it's not. Look at this picture. This man look like a ghost. Gavel, gavel, gavel. A little bit. Jordan, you are free to talk if you uh, have anything else you want to ask. No, I'm good. All right, we can go over to Sean. All right. So first and foremost, if you're trying to choke Pac-Man's Pac neck, I'm sure he's going to end up saying that's not his neck. <laughs> second, of all, of a ghost. second of all, I know that we said one of the things about Big Tipper is that he's going to get the drop on Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh How is Big Chipper going to counter the fact that in game Pac Man can make choices by seeing ghosts through walls? You can make movement choices without seeing line of sight of ghosts Pac -Man is to avoid. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be pretty hard yeah, for Big yeah, Chipper to get. Ah oh, man, to I get, don't. I don't know. Get the drop on. I don't guess. know if I. How much I agree with that? That's more the. Than Pac Man himself. Because uh, if, oh if you, because if you, if the player stops, you know, inputting uh, commands, Pac Man just. Well, then Pac Man does nothing, and he just sits in a corner. Like this isn't what, like, yeah. yeah if you don't pick up the controller, Big Tipper would also be doing fucking nothing too, because yeah. you wouldn't get to that point. <laughs> this we is a bad. Up a flimsy argument. We have brought um, up player controlled characters before, and the verdict was. The verdict was that counts as them knowing because okay. you are controlling them. They would not make that decision without it. Okay. So yeah, um, I, so I have to just call I mean, us back to our own rules. I want to say that even with um, that canonicity, that uh, Pac-Man can make decisions, you know, by s knowing where ghosts are through walls without seeing them directly. Maybe there's some other way of knowing that. Maybe he hears them. Maybe he just he's omniscient or some shit. Uh, it's not clear how he knows that. Sometimes the ghosts still get the drop on him and he still dies. So that's not like a carte blanche to never get the drop on him. I think I'm I'm more saying that in that instance it comes down to the choices you make. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if Big Tipper would be able to just get the drop on him without, you know, backing him into a corner. Or back up because the way the ghosts mm -hmm. work is that they work in four of them. So, okay. But you can get killed. You can get you know, killed by any one ghost. If you're an idiot. Hey, we didn't. So, I have... Uh, Joe's not wrong there. You can get killed by one ghost. Yes. If, if we're saying... Who gets killed the, when only one ghost is out, though? If we're saying the input <laughs> of the player is uh, equivalent to the uh, abilities or choices of the character, then... That means in some instances, you know, this battle will get killed by one ghost. I'm just, just 
He's having a bad day. He's wasting. It's time. highly yeah, it's really unlikely, likely, which means it's lowly likely. Yeah. Okay. I will give you a. Can I answer. ask my one question? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. It's a question that's been asked, but I've yet to hear the answer from. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Ryan. Mm-hmm. What game does this Pac-Man come from? It's Pac-Man World. Okay. It's, it's like literally just like the one big 3D open world Pac-Man. I would say, yeah, I, I know of the game. I just didn't know uh, which version you were choosing because I definitely... Uh, for those of you who don't know, it definitely was heavily inspired by his uh, move set from Smash. Okay. Okay. That's why, like, a lot of the moves, I'm like, wait a second. This sounds like Smash. Are we having another? So that's why I wanted to clarify that. Yeah, no, Pac Man World has the steel body, it has the shrink pellets, it has the electroshock, it has. One called Ribbon Ring Power, which is I create after images, and if I close the circle, it destroys everything inside of it. Nice. All right. So um, outside of that, I just want to uh, point out here as as a judge before we go into voting, this is my last piece, uh, Joe's very cocky at this one, first (laughs) off. And number two, he disobeyed several of the rules. He went past past the rebuttal point you were making points after the rebuttal was over that's breaking the rules man not obeying the gavel yeah that's another i mean we were so on last time so i thought the rules have become flexible i was reading the room i'm sorry i I think all of his matches are actually disqualified (laughs) i love the idea but we need to proceed we'll see how the voting goes first we need to proceed uh, with voting on pac-man versus tim um i think i'm ready to just go let me give a little can i go first uh, Pac Man. I have no argument other than the move set Pac Man has. I'm sorry, like Big Tipper is is a great guy, but uh, at the end of the day, he's just human. <clears throat> Chuck. So I'm gonna follow suit. I am gonna go with Pac Man, only because of the abilities that Pac Man has in Pac Man World. Um, we're, we're talking about basically a superhuman going up against a normal human. Yes, we have seen guns make differences in other battles, but I don't see that happening in this one. Um, Joe, I needed you to win this fight. I absolutely needed you to. Mm-hmm. Um, every one of Ryan's characters has moved on. Yep. Tango mm-hmm. is undefeated right now. Mm-hmm. And um, I just want to point out, in a, two of those three wins, it was a coin flip. Yep. Um, give um, so I really needed Big Tipper to win this because I am uh-huh. also Tango's last match. Uh-huh. Um, so I was really hoping to have him lose momentum coming down the bracket. Mm-hmm. I gotta go Pac-Man. I'm sorry, Joe. I, I wanted to be Team Mustache Tribe so bad. If Damn, I should have thought of that. I didn't, I didn't think... Hashtag Team Mustache Tribe. I didn't know Pac-Man World Pac-Man was this yeah. at me, all. Me neither. Um... And uh, when I heard those, it was pretty. <coughs> it, was, uh, it was enough of a battle for Tipper. If it was any other Pac Man, I would have voted for Tipper. Yeah. Jordan? For obvious reasons, I am voting for Pac Man. <laughs> um, for obvious reasons. It's, it's, it's a tough one yeah. to go against Pac Man here. I just want to say, I saw this coming yeah. most of the match. So, um, excellent choice on your choice of Pac Man, Ryan. Um, I yeah. Uh, I wanted Tipper to win. I like Tipper, but uh, I, I actually think this is a pretty nice goal. So. I do as well. But you've heard it. Pac Man is moving on. But will he take on Thor from God of War, or will he take on Raiden from Metal Gear Solid: Revengeance Rising? Something this tells me either of those won't go well for him. I mean, this this <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to see who. He's no big. They're no big Tipper. Unless it's a not eating contest. Yeah. <laughs> Come back next time. See who else is gonna die. So the official conversion is one point four coins is equal to ten bells. Thank you.